We've talked a lot about kids and technology in the past few weeks, but a new study out of the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health shows that most teenagers actually have a good relationship with digital technology. Parent rules about content, not screen time, led to greater well-being. Joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Megan Marino, lead author on the study and an adolescent health expert with the UW Health Kids in Madison. Dr. Marino, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And so just tell us, what did the study find that people might be surprised by? I think that one of our findings that people might be surprised by is the, the real emphasis and focus on the group of teens that was doing really well with their relationship with technology. So in our study, about 63% of teens were doing quite well balancing their relationship with technology with other really important health behaviors like sleep and physical activity and being with their friends and family. Right, and so should parents be the ones setting an example for their kids when it comes to technology use? That's a great question, and that was another one of the findings that we felt was really strong in this study, is that the kids who were doing well, they often had parents that they were really connected to, and they described talking to their parents about their technology use. They described that their parents had set rules and guidelines for their technology use. So we feel that this study really shows what a positive impact parents can have for their kids' technology use. Or, yeah, I'm sure having that open communication helps a lot. And how else can parents be proactive in helping their kids to keep a good relationship with technology? I think one other finding from our study is that families that had devices that were family owned, so not meaning smartphones, but meaning televisions, video games, the big ticket items that families can use together, when those devices were family owned, the family was more likely to use them together versus when kids own those devices individually. So that was another kind of unexpected finding, but I think it can translate into, into tips that parents can use. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for giving us some tips for parents. We really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Still to come.